from a fight with both fire and ice battling this intense blaze in Detroit in the snowstorm to coastal flooding in the east and a ferocious Arctic freeze gripping much of the country. I've been here 20 years and this is the worst I've ever felt. More than half the U.S. population is under winter storm and wind chill alerts, the coldest Christmas in roughly 40 years predicted for parts of the Plains and the Midwest. Dangerous driving from Minnesota. Even in the areas that have been plowed really well, if you get above 40 miles an hour, you start sliding around. To Kentucky. We have just enough snow to where gusts of 40 to 50 miles an hour can create blizzard-like conditions very quickly. The misery from what looks like frigid tundra to tense terminals. More than 4,000 flights across the U.S. canceled Friday with people like Natalia hoping to escape. Where we came from in Washington and Spokane, it was negative four degrees. So we're going to 85 and <laughs> it'll be nice. On the East Coast, high surf in Narragansett, Rhode Island and a travel ban for drivers in Buffalo, across Erie County, and into Niagara Falls. The storm system by Friday afternoon left more than 1.5 million Americans without power. And now, just two days before Christmas, both UPS and FedEx warn the once-in-a-generation winter storm may disrupt deliveries with time to get those packages home for the holidays. Quickly running out, I'm Mike Valerio reporting.